Earth, our home planet. It has many worlds inside worlds. Earth's terrain is very diverse. It is as well interesting how some places on Earth have striking resemblance to other planets and moons. Earth is quite a big place with a big change in temperature because it is at the right distance from the Sun, which allows for very different terrain all over the planet. Of course, most of these places cannot be same as they are on other planets and moons. Starting with Atacama Desert, desert in Chile, one of the driest places on Earth. Well, obviously it resembles Mars pretty well. It has lots of sand with a bit Mars-like brownish-red color and is rocky just enough. There are lots of deserts on Earth and a lot of them look like Mars, but this is the most perfect balance. Of course, Mars is very cold, minus 64 Celsius on average, and well, in Atacama, temperatures are a lot higher. They're in plus. Atacama is still visually the most similar place to Mars on Earth. There even has been a rover tested in Atacama, and there is even a valley named Moon Valley. Next place, Danakil Depression. Located in Ethiopia, it is the deepest part of Africa and the hottest place on Earth. It is completely covered in sulfur, and the moon Io, moon of Jupiter, has its whole surface as well completely covered in sulfur. Io is the most active object in the solar system, with a volcano erupting every minute. Because of all the eruption, sulfur gets piled up. And well, the closest location that would look like Io on Earth is Danakil Depression, with an active volcano and a yellow and hot landscape. Except Io is sometimes very cold and at times extremely hot. Next place, Lake Vostok, the largest lake in Antarctica, and it is completely frozen. Its crust goes 4 kilometers deep, and underneath that, there is water completely untouched by the atmosphere for tens of thousands of years. This lake and its ice sheet strikingly resembles Jupiter's moon Europa, which underneath its icy crust has an ocean lurking. That means if any life is found on Lake Vostok, including simple microlife such as bacteria, that gives us a good sign that there is life in Europa's ocean, because it's a similar situation. Next place, Valleys of Antarctica. Yes, these pictures are in Antarctica, and well, there is not that much snow here. It doesn't contain sand, and it's a very rocky place. And well, another very rocky place is our moon. Now, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, but if the Earth wouldn't have an atmosphere, it would look very similar. They still do look similar. Next place, Greenland Rivers. Now, this place looks very similar to the blue spots of Enceladus, and Enceladus is icy and white, and this part of Greenland is as well pretty icy, and these rivers are blue, of course, because of the sky, and on Enceladus, it is actually a blue color. Still, this place visually looks very much like the surface of Enceladus. And that is it for this list. We went from all over the world, from yellow to white landscapes, and that is just on one planet, Earth. Many worlds inside one world. Earth is an insanely diverse and beautiful place, truly a gem. For that reason, we should try to protect Earth and hold on to it as long as we can. This is the home of all of us after all.